Why don't you use that cave up on the rock pillar at the end of the beach? We don't have a stuntman anymore. Hey, I'll do the stunt. I appreciate the offer, but if you fall, you'll sue us. No, I won't. Everybody hear that? I heard it. Good enough, we're covered. Got any experience? Death-defying leaps, desperate fist fights, getting caught in explosions, you name it. Okay, people, move out. We're shooting the scene at the end of the beach. No, we're not. The camera's still bogged down. Shoot, I forgot about that. No go, Stobart. We'll have to use this cave after all. What's the name of the movie? Are you trying to be funny? No. It's Treasure Island, the only book I ever read twice. Flash? Yep. We can't film at the Needle Rock because the camera's bogged down, right? You got it, champ. So why can't we use the portable camera instead? You know, that's a pretty smart idea. Hi, I'm George Stobart. My name's Harris. Most people call me Flash. You're the cameraman, right? That's right. Why'd they call you Flash? You used to be a stills photographer? Nope. I decided not to pursue the subject. I've been talking to the cameraman. He's got a portable camera. So? So you can use the cave in that rock pillar at the end of the beach. That's a dramatic cave if ever I saw one. We ain't got a stabilized harness for it. The camera will wobble. Did D.W. Griffiths have a stabilized harness when he made Birth of a Nation? You're right, damn it. Hitchcock, Wells, none of them needed one. For crying out loud, Sam Raimi stabilized his camera on a plank. Props, get me a plank. We're gonna wing it. Hot dog. We're gonna do a cinema verite pirate movie. George, get to wardrobe. We're gonna make you a star. On my way. Ready when you are, Mr. Hawks. It was the stone which Ketch had captured from the Spanish. The Eagle Stone! I returned to Cuaramonte and found that Georges had left a message with Conchita. He'd already left for the Indian village, so I hurried to catch up with him. When I arrived, I found a scene of desolation. These sunglasses are Georges. Georges, where are you? Titipoco, I'm almost glad to see you. an asshole. What happened here? Are you responsible for this? Uh, and where's Georges? Have you seen him? Uh -uh. He was pointing to the remains of a burned out hut. It was too hot to pick up.
I just didn't have the strength to tip that barrel. Hey, Shorty, make yourself useful and help me with this barrel. Thanks. I recognize that. It's the Coyote Stone. What is it? Where are you pointing? Titipoko, any ideas what I can do with this rope? He just looked at me. If anybody was going to come up with a plan, it was going to have to be me. The scaffold gantry went all the way up the pyramid. Poco, I have an important job for you. Take this rope to the top of this scaffolding and throw it over the top. Help. The motor spluttered into life. Titipoko, when I tell you, I want you to copy what I am doing. Copy.
Ok? Copy. George, I realized those bastards were going to sacrifice George to Tezcatlipoca over my dead body. Thankfully, George was the only one to notice me. Where are they? The eclipse is about to happen. Patience. Your mother will be here soon and Karzai will be close behind. Just keep the Yankee covered and leave the worrying to others. Yeah, Raoul. The maniacs were going to sacrifice George. Shut up, Stobart. Just shut up. Calm down. He's no threat. Hey, Raoul, why don't you do us both a favor and shoot Pablo? You're very funny, Stobart. I haven't forgotten Marseille. When Karzai cuts your heart out, I'll be the one laughing. I'll bet I'm not the only one due for the chop around here either. Hey, Raoul? I'm warning you. Raoul was a bundle of raw nerves. I hoped George wouldn't push him too far. Senorita. Too late. I had been seen. Bonjour, Capitaine. <laughs> Only Sergeant, pretty one. What are you doing here? Uh... Snuggles said I could come here with him. Snuggles? Oh, I mean the General. We are, uh, friends. May I go up the pyramid? Ah, uh, we have strict instructions not to let anybody pass. Oh, but I've told you who I am. Surely nobody would mind. Well... Oh, please. I'd be ever so grateful. I tell you what. I'll ask Pablo if it's okay for you to go up. If Pablo saw me, I'd be dead. Uh, no. It's not worth the bother. I'm not really that interested in their stupid pyramid anyway. Well, okay. It's men's work up there anyway. I'll just run along and play around here, okay? Okay, you do that. Titi Poco, do you still have that lighter gun you pull on me so amusingly? What's going on over there? Do you need help, my pretty? Nothing's wrong. I dropped, uh, a cigarette, but everything is under control. I'll have the fire out in a minute or two. What's that? What's happening? Trouble. Give it up. The pyramid's surrounded. I'll find out what the trouble is. Watch Dover doesn't pull any trick. If he does, shoot him in the head, not through the heart. 
Why does it matter? He'll be dead either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. Shoot! Please, don't hurt me! Don't worry yourself, my finger isn't loaded. Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set George free, and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power! Raoul, wake up. The only thing Karzak has on offer is death. You may want to ask Oubie, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Oubie is in Europe. Sure he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother and Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titi Poco. Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. Hold still, George. I don't want to sacrifice you by accident. You have no idea how glad I am to see you. They were going to cut your heart out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on! safe. This is a dead end. We're toast. I know, Tiripoko. I'm not too happy here either. He knows this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid. The house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime... Take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might bring you luck, I hope. You managed to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. 